Okay, we need to calculate our retained income note. So we have our balance at the beginning of the year of 360,000. It's in bold. It was given to us. The net profit off the tax amount was also given to us. It is in bold. Let's complete the rest. So next is going to be the funds used for the repurchase of shares. And remember in the last video, we said that this is the difference between the total. So the 75,000 times 10 rand 70 cents and the 75,000 times the average share price, which was 10 rand 20 cents. And the difference we plug into our retained income, which if you plug into your calculator, you get 37,500. The total amount goes into your cash flow statement. Next, we would need to calculate our ordinary share dividends amount, and that comprises of interim, so halfway through, and final. So to calculate the interim amount, we take our 434,250, that reflects the actual dividends paid for the year, and we subtract it from the 162,000, that was shareholders for dividends, dividends that were promised to shareholders at the end of the previous year, we subtract it because it is paid out this year, and we get an amount of 272,250. Final, the final dividend amount, this is promised to shareholders for the next financial year, that's going to be 209,000. We can plug it in as is. Add the 272, the 209, we get 481,250. And now just total everything. So 360,000 plus 444,500 minus 37,500 minus 481,250. And we get our final answer of 285,750. And that's it. That's everything. Believe in yourself.